Hello! Welcome to Sistera. Thank you so much for tuning in today to watch a demo video of one of our application templates. Let's jump in. Today, we're going to give a demo of our Sustainability Goals and KPI Tracker application template. Currently, goal setting tends to be the first step in any sustainability journey. However, you might have goals, but it is exceedingly difficult to track the progress you've made based on those goals. And oftentimes, because data is so spread out and siloed, there's a lack of transparency and engagement around these goals, and it's super hard to see any impact or change that is occurring. Well, Sistera offers a template that addresses each of these challenges. Our sustainability goals and KPI tracker gives you online 24 seven goal tracking that gives you that transparency that you're missing and can foster engagement and also offers easy to share results both internally and externally. Now I wanna mention here, this application does function on the UN's 17 sustainable development goals. That is the framework that Sistera has chosen to operate by. However, if you do not share that framework, this is still applicable to you because you can also implement custom frameworks here or build your own within the application. With all of that said, I'm going to ask that Kyle takes it away and walks you through a demo. Thanks, Maggie. I'm happy to introduce everybody to our projects and KPI dashboard. What we built here is a way for you to track your progress uh, towards your sustainability initiatives within your company. We're going to start right off and take a look at our quick start survey, which is designed to get you up and running with our KPI dashboard as quick as possible. Now we have tied ourselves to the very visible and very well known UN goals for sustainable development, which you can see over here on the right. We have then assigned them values relating to their importance to sustainability and the ability to change, as well as siloing them in environmental, social, or governance. If you look at the chart, you can click over, you can see which goals these points apply to. And you can click to add them to your interests for the purpose of the survey. So I'll add a couple of more. Then we can go over here and we can click to see our suggestions. And you get what we like to call the Sistera API and Projects Buffet. This is just a quick start set of projects that you can go through and you can click on to add quickly to your roadmap, which adds it to your dashboard in the not started column. When you're done going through the buffet and picking what, which projects you'd like to add, you can click and go finished which will take you back to the dashboard. You can see that the one that we added to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions has been added to the not started column. We can then go and move this around as necessary. This is a drag and drop Kanban style board, which allows you to easily and quickly categorize your projects based on status. We can also quickly filter these with our filters. I'll go ahead and click into one of these projects that we have underway, where we're trying to reduce our dependence on non-renewable energy sources, such as that that's generated from coal, natural gas, uh, or any other non-renewable fossil fuel. You can see here that we have a number of KPI that we're tracking under this project such as our ability to generate a portion of our own energy every month. If we click into that KPI, we can see that we're able to track our progress and that currently we're sitting at 53% towards our goal. Now we're doing pretty good based on our change from November to the end of the month. But if we wanted to go and add some more data to track it, we can go up here in the corner and click to create a new data point, at which point we'll be prompted to add the information, such as the value and the date for that data point. So I'm gonna say that we have calculated that we are now generating 
26% of our energy in the middle of December. This will then update the chart as well as our forecast and show us how much change we've accomplished over the latest interval. And it also updates, as you can see, the percentage towards our goal over here on the right. One other thing we can add to our KPI is an action item. These are designed to help you manage your KPI, and they do not have an impact directly on the chart, but they're here to guide you and uh, think of them like subtasks uh, for this KPI, ways that you can make small, meaningful improvements that will impact the chart at scale. Let me go ahead and set a due date for that. You see that it gets added here at the bottom under the action item, action item card. If we click through, we can adjust our due date, and we can also come in and estimate how much progress has been made on that, so that we can also track these. Going back to our project, we can now see that the percent completed has increased because our progress towards this particular KPI has increased. If we needed to, we could also reclassify this with a different category. Returning to our dashboard, we can also take a look at some of the other views that we have for our projects. The one we're currently looking at is our project board, but we also have a project quick view that categorizes these based on uh, sustainable development goals. And if there is no sustainable development goal selected, it will group them together under a single category. We can click on each project in time to see a quick view of our progress and the, the progress of the individual KPI under that. Additionally, we also have a report view. It gives you a quick summary to see how many projects you have, how many are in progress, which of those are approaching a deadline, how many you may have that are off track or trending downwards, as well as a goal timeline to see what's coming up in terms of KPI completion and a chart to see your overall subset of project status based on not started in progress and completed. Now we talked a lot about having these linked to the UN Sustainable Development Goals, but we can also create these without linking them to a sustainable development goal. That is not a mandatory requirement. It is simply a framework that we at Sestera have chosen to use. Instead, we ask that you at least categorize this where we provide some basic common sense generic categories, but also give you the ability to add your own. You can even choose the background color and text to make it more personal. And that concludes our overview of the KPI and Projects Dashboard.